In this video, we'll cover 10 helpful tips to boost your productivity in Corel Draw. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. Corel Draw is touch bar enabled for MacBook Pro. Use the touch bar to easily access zoom functions, instantly change object fill or outline colors, or quickly format text. When you're working with complex multi-page documents, go to View, Page Sorter View, to see thumbnails of all your pages at once. Click and drag to rearrange pages, and right-click to rename or duplicate pages. When you're ready to re-enter a page, just double-click it. Use the three-point curve tool under the Curve Tools flyout to draw simple curves with just a few clicks. Click and drag to set the start and end points of your curve, then let go, and click again to set its apex. Hold the Shift key while you draw to make your curve symmetrical. Hold Command to draw a circular curve. Quickly apply transformations to objects or object copies using the Transformation Inspector. Just select an object and choose the transformation you want to use. Then enter the values you want and click Apply. To apply the transformations to a copy of your object, hold Shift when you click Apply. To apply it to multiple copies, enter a number in the Copies box and then click Apply. To instantly create a frame or border around an image, first set your fill color to None. Then just select your image, hold Shift, and double-click the Rectangle tool. Then adjust your line weight and color as needed. To add colors from a document to the Document Palette, go to Window, Color Palettes, Add Colors from Document. The new colors will appear in your Document Palette at the bottom of your screen. To create a new palette from colors in a document, go to Window, Color Palettes, Create Palette from Document. Then save your palette. Now in a new document, you can import that palette by clicking the folder icon at the bottom of the Palettes Inspector. Corel Draw even does math for you. To make an object a quarter of its current width, simply divide it by 4 in the Width box and hit Return. This will work with any value box across Corel Draw. You can also instantly convert units to your document's preset units. Simply enter the value and unit and hit return. Use the polygon tool to create a symmetrical shape and choose your number of sides. Then select the shape tool and use it to manipulate one side of the object. Your changes will be mimicked on all other sides of the shape. To instantly select all nodes from a selected object, just double-click the Shape tool. To select nodes with a freehand lasso, just hold down Option and click and drag. To create a new style for later use, just right-click on the object that has the effects you want to save. Then go to Object Styles, New Style From, and choose Bitmap Effects. Then name your new style and hit OK. The Object Styles Inspector will automatically pop up, and you'll see your new style under Styles. To apply the effect to a new object, just right-click on the object, go to Object Styles, Apply Style, and choose your style. And that's it! Now you're ready to increase productivity in Corel Draw. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. 